So I designed this rotary positioner about two and a half years ago. The speed was controlled by a potentiometer and the range was 0 to 10 RPM in 0.1 increments. And at the time I just sort of guessed at the speed. Uh, I wanted something a little faster to use for polishing parts with a grinder, but since I built this I don't think I've ever welded anything over 1.5 RPM. Maybe two at the most if I was plasma cutting something. Adding a foot pedal control has been the most requested addition to the plans that I sell. I put it off for quite a while due to other projects, but I finally got around to figuring it out. Now I wanted to keep the same speed range. 0 to 10 was good, um, at least for me and some of the feedback I've gotten from others. But trying to spread 10 RPM in 0.1 RPM increments across the throw of that foot pedal would just make it, make it way too sensitive. Small movements would equal big jumps in speed. I tried it uh, when I first got the foot pedal. And after looking at several options, I ultimately decided to use the original pot as a selector switch. So even though the pot doesn't have discrete positions like a selector switch would, it still works well, as you'll see. I decided to make five different speed ranges that set the foot pedal to a 3 RPM range instead of the 10. I also chose to use a maintained foot pedal so that if I take my foot off, the speed will hold constant. You could also get a momentary pedal if that's something that you would prefer, something similar to a, a TIG welder foot pedal. Even though there aren't any discrete positions like you'd get with a selector switch, you can see that the range is fairly broad, so once you start to rotate the potentiometer, you'll hear and see the speed change. And then the final was set to the full range of 0 to 10 RPM, just in case someone still wants to have that full range of motion. I do include information in the plans so that whomever purchases them can change these ranges to suit their particular needs. It's not too hard to manipulate some of the numbers to change, change these speed ranges pretty easily or remove some of them altogether. It just uh, depends on personal preference at that point. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.